Welcome to Kermit Uncut. I've been thinking a lot recently about the strange art of film editing. On the Radio 5 live show I do with Simon Mayo, Kermit and Mayo's film review, we had a discussion a couple of weeks ago about what makes a good editor. How do you notice good editing? And it seemed to be a strange question because the thing that everyone says is great editing is the editing that you don't notice. If you start to notice it, it means there's something wrong. Somebody wrote in to say editing is like bass playing. You know, you don't hear it when it's right and when it's wrong. It really stands out. I started thinking about editors that I had met who had talked about great editing. Thelma Schoonmaker, Martin Scorsese's editor for all those great films, said, well, it's just to do with storytelling. Frank Mazzola, who was the guy who edited Donald Campbell's Wild Side, which is a terrific movie, always described editing as being like jazz music. He said the way that you put the scenes together is like the way that jazz puts together riffs and tunes and beats. So anyway, I was scooting around on the internet and I found a video that Variety had uploaded just before the Oscars, speaking to some Oscar-nominated editors about that strange thing, how do you define good editing? I spoke to William Goldenberg, The Imitation Game, Joel Cox and Gary Roach had done American Sniper, and they said some interesting things. Gary Roach said that the thing about editing was to keep the pacing where it needs to be and to keep everybody as interested as possible, which I thought was a nice definition. Joel Cox said, a great edit is an edit that you can't see. But then he also said, as an editor, we control your mind. And then there was a kind of positive note from Goldenberg who said he thought we were getting away from that frenetic, fast editing that we've seen in the words Michael Bay films. He said, well, it looks flashy, but everyone understands that it has no emotional resonance, no emotional depth. I was thinking of the, the other editors that I've spoken to, I, Jerry Greenberg, who of course famously cut the French Connection, that incredible car chase sequence. I once had the great pleasure of meeting Anne V. Coates, albeit briefly, in Hollywood, an absolutely extraordinary editor. And each one of them, I think, does something that's more mysterious than the greatest directors around. There's a terrific book, which you may have seen, called When the Shooting Stops, The Cutting Starts. Ralph Rosenblum telling stories about how he worked with Woody Allen and William Friedkin and Mel Brooks to make some of their most famous movies. See, as far as I'm concerned, really brilliant editing you don't notice but you're aware when it goes wrong. I mean, I'll give you an example. There's a movie out in cinemas at the moment, the new Nicholas Sparks adaptation. It's called The Longest Ride. And there was one scene that was ruined for me because they kept cutting backwards and forwards between the lead actress and the continuity of her hair and hat was slightly out of whack. I mean, it was just an editing issue. They were cutting together two shots that didn't match and it really stood out. So when it's wrong, you notice. When it's right, you probably don't. So what I want to know from you is this. Can you come up with a definition of great editing? And if you are an editor, what do you actually do in a sentence?